All right, first off, I just want to say thank you to the Carmichael and York families for throwing this amazing evening. We can celebrate two of our favorite people. So go ahead and give it up for them, everybody. My students are between the ages of 11 and 13. So this says, your woman will always be right. This one says, do not, not underlined, kiss in front of your kids, please, exclamation point, exclamation point. So this kid, you know, you're talking to me like, who's this Emily? Oh, mom, she's just helping me with my homework. She was my agenda. <laughs> she was your agenda. Then you knew immediately that they were meant for each other. And I've always called them saying, two old shoes. They were meant to be together, and now they are together for the rest of their life. Love you both. Congratulations. Dear Curly Q, I sit here and type in this letter to you, trying to fathom how I can put into words my love for you. Our love isn't something that can be measured by the size of hearts, or who claims to love each other more. Our love can only be measured in the experiences that we shared. The amount of wonderful moments, the first that we've been able to share, is astounding. First kisses to first true loves, it is honestly crazy what you and I have been able to accomplish. But truly the amazing part is all the future firsts and experiences that our love gets to grow into. Nick, wow, what a ride it has been these last 11 years. I cannot wait to marry you. Thank you for being my constant rock. The breath of fresh air and the constant voice of reason. You truly are the man of my dreams. I cannot wait to continue this life with you and keep the adventures and memories coming. You're such an incredible, incredible man. I'm so thankful for your loyalty, hard work, and determination in all you do. Thank you for loving me so well. Our first home, our first puppy, our first kid. Life is an amazing roller coaster. I'm so grateful that I get to share it with such an amazing person. I can't wait to see how our love continues to grow and develop as we continue to explore life together. I love you the most, baby. This is a time for you to pause, look back, smile at all the moments that brought you here and a time to look ahead to all the moments that are still to come. Love isn't happily ever after. Love is the experience of writing your story. So, wow. I know now I'm on the wind. And I'm in the wind. You're beautiful. Thank you. I love you. Can we open the door? <laughs> Your love story is not one moment, not even this moment. It's every moment for the past 11 years. A lifelong source of excitement, contentment, affection, respect, and devotion for each other. By the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your lovely bride. Nick and Emily, you found something extremely special many years ago at North Meg when you started this whole romantic journey. You've made it here to this sacred place that you're building together. 
with all these people who've supported you the whole way here. You found love, but most importantly, you found your person. And I think that is something we're celebrating today and every day.